Thanks. Oh, thank you. How is everyone? In shock. You know, first to find out that he wasn't who we thought he was, and now... Right. I'm so sorry. And there's probably nothing I can do for your family. It was nice of you to come over and say so, though. I have a confession to make, Jess. Yeah, I came by to give you my condolences, but... That's not the only reason I'm here. So you really thought about going back to your old name? I did. And then I came to my senses. I don't know. I kind of like Christine. But then, what does a name matter to a con artist? I'm not going to be a con artist anymore. And Cutter and I are going to be a real couple. We're starting fresh. I have to admit, it reminds me of the real Aubrey Wentworth. And what she did. Aubrey, I can't believe you're here. FYI, I go by Kim Andrews now. But I'll always be Aubrey Wentworth to my big brother, Cutter. Are we sure it's okay to come back? Yeah, I talked to the police. They said all the evidence has been collected, so... Danny, you know what I forgot? Oh, my God. No. Don't, don't look. Don't look, Danny. Just don't look, okay? Okay? Jack, you need to go upstairs and lie down. Why? It's like the middle of the afternoon. The doctor said you need to take it easy, that's why. The doctors gave mom pain pillars if you need one. The only thing I need right now is to know if Scarface is behind bars for killing my father. There you go, after you. Hey, for what it's worth, you did the right thing coming in. The boys in blue were looking for me. I heard you were running around with a gun. This one Victor ended up dead, um... Well, hey, what do you say we cut to the chase? That'd be great. Let's do that. Did you kill him? I can't believe you're here. How long's it been, Aubrey? Long enough that I've gotten used to being called Kim, so why don't we just stick with that? Okay. Okay? Kim. No. That's weird. Come on. Oh, come on. It'll grow on you. Trust me. I... What, what, what are you doing here? No, you first. What are you doing here? I read somewhere you were trying to go after the Buchanan bucks? Or... Yeah, I was. I did. I got them. A lot of them. Free and clear. Um, so what happened? I spent them. On what? The Buchanan Master Bathroom. It's really nice now. It's all gold leaf. It's, uh... I didn't know I'd get kicked out. Okay, so why'd you pick the Minuteman? It's the only place I can afford right now. <sighs> I'm currently going straight. Oh, come on. You're serious. What about you? You said you read something about me? Funny story. So, I was in the mood for a little gossip, so I curled up with my favorite magazine, and guess who I see on the red carpet at the Vicar Man premiere? My own brother being bounced out on his butt with that cheesy blonde who stole my identity. I've never met the real Aubrey Wentworth, you know. Calls yourself lucky. Cutter never talked about her. But he did seem pretty sure that she wouldn't want her name back. Apparently she couldn't wait to go off and reinvent herself. Did he tell you why? No, that's why I'm asking you. You two were roommates back in the old Ecole Madame Laurent days, right? Yes, unfortunately. Okay, two questions. How could you stand going to a school with a name like that? And two, how could you afford it? I was on scholarship. And so was Aubrey. I guess that's one of the reasons we were thrown together. And the other reasons were... Well, let's just say we didn't look like the other girls. I was the token minority and she was... What? Aubrey was what? You've seen her picture in the yearbook. Let's just say the term ugly duckling is... Kind. You want to tell me how you were planning on explaining this? Yeah, I gotta admit, when I first saw that photo, all I could think was, I guess Cutter got all the looks in the family. Yeah, and that really bothered Aubrey. 
She couldn't bear to look at herself in the mirror. All she could talk about was how one day she would go to a plastic surgeon and get it all done. Her nose, her chin, her body. And presto, the ugly duckling would turn into a swan. Why don't you grab a seat? Can I get you something to drink? No, I'm good. Thanks. <clears throat> so, you said you came over for another reason? <sighs> right. Um... <clears throat> Well, now that I'm here, I feel kind of awkward bringing it up with everything you're going through. You know what I'd love? I'd love to talk about something that isn't sad. Okay. All right. So, so I have this friend that's been giving me advice. About what? Well, she wants to help people make connections. Connections? Well, you know how it is nowadays. So many ways to meet people, but sometimes it's like the wrong people end up together. Wait. Are you talking about Ford? Why would the police just leave that there? They should have told us. Sweetheart. How about we go back to the palace? Okay, just, no. just for no, a few days. Mom, no, I need to I need to be here with Dad's things, okay? This This was the last place that I saw. Son, oh. why did I have to go out last night? <sighs> Honey, thank God you did. Otherwise, you might you might have got caught up in this. I could have come home and found you both. Oh God, come here, come here. It must have been so horrible finding him. He said he was still alive. Yeah. Barely. What did, did he say anything? I think I think he was trying to tell me who killed him. Come on, now. Police are still investigating. They have to have something to go on before they Give just make a break. Arrest. Scarface had a gun. Everyone uh, knows he wanted dad. Scarface dead. is our dad. He is the real Todd Manning. He is our father, whether you like it or not. Someone else wanted Victor dead, and they tried to kill him before. Do you remember that? When he was in the hospital, we didn't know whether he was going to wake up. That had nothing to do with our father. Sarah, don't get upset. And if you want to reject him, that's fine. Okay, no one can force you to love him, but do not accuse him of murdering someone just because you want it to be true. I can't believe you are defending this jerk. You, You're on my side, right? You totally think he did it. I never said that. You Dad. don't have to. The minute you found out he took the gun, you freaked. It doesn't mean I know what really yeah, happened, it though. It does. You just don't want to tell Star, because it'll hurt her little feelings. Jeff! Jeff! Is that true? Mom, you didn't answer me when I asked you if you thought that Dad shot Victor. Answer me now. What if I give you an answer that you don't want to hear? Do I still get to leave? Well, you know, you probably need to give me an answer first. Did you kill your brother? Victor Lord Jr. and I shared DNA, but he was no brother of mine. Oh, okay, fine. He's no brother of yours. Um, what do you say we start with an easy one? Did you steal the gun from Dorian Lord's safe? Well, I wouldn't call it stealing. Is that a yes? I borrowed the gun. Excellent. All right, now we're getting somewhere. This gun that you borrowed was your intention to use it on your brother, Victor. 